Hey everybody, I'm just hiding out in the kids' room because they follow me everywhere. Um, it's a good thing you can't see what I can see because it's, somebody drew on the wall again. <gasps> it's pretty messy in here. Right, back to the Gratitude Diary. Let's have a look. It is day 22 and I have something to be grateful for today. I have come back from church this morning because it's Sunday, yay! And something I am regularly involved in at church is the children's ministry. So I was on this morning. I've been involved in children's ministry since forever. It's probably been about 30 years by now. It's been a while. Yeah, I, I don't know, am I a kid magnet or what? But I, I wanted to just talk about children's ministry and why I'm grateful for it. I am grateful that I have the opportunity to be in with the children. And yeah, it's okay. It's fine being in church with the grown-ups. And it, it's quite cool. It's it's a rare treat. It doesn't happen very often. Um, but on the occasions when I'm actually rostered on with the children and just talking with them and sharing a lesson with them it's actually kind of neat because they're just neat <laughs> kids are neat aren't they except when you're with them 24 7 and they mess up their bedrooms but I, did I say that out loud I just want to say that it's a real opportunity people don't really see children's ministry as like such a vital role in the church compared to so many other roles and it is it's it's a very important role it's it's something that keeps families coming to church um if your children aren't being cared for then most families will probably go off to find a church where their children will be cared for but the thing is oh that's dusty the thing is that it's not just a matter of babysitting the children, but actually spending time with them and um, ministering to them. And this is real grassroots evangelism, people. What a wonderful opportunity to share our faith. Then with children who are like hungry and eager to learn. They, they love the company. They love it when adults want to spend time with them. And it's not just school it's not just someone who's paid to be with them every day and um, it's somebody who actually wants to be with them and kids know if you like them and so I'd say if you're in a, a church that's struggling to find volunteers for children's ministry give it a go even if you just say okay I'll try it in, in the bare minimum capacity of what I can do give it a go and you might be pleasantly surprised I remember my first time on children's ministry and I sat in with the I don't know five and six year olds and I sat in with somebody else taking the class and I was the helper I had no idea what I was doing but you kind of just be yourself and kids know if you're putting on an act they know if you are there because you have to be there and they know if you're there because you actually like being with them and I just want to say this is a really um, highly valued ministry I think as as far as God is concerned Jesus himself had such a soft spot for children well he still has a soft spot for children and I think we should all recognize that and recognize that the harvest, oh, the harvest is ripe and we need the workers. So get involved, guys. If people are screaming out for volunteers for children's ministry, let's do it. Okay, why was I grateful for this? I was grateful because I was on this morning and there's such a neat bunch of kids that I was with and I enjoy them. And I'm grateful that God has given me the um, rapport to be able to spend time with them comfortably because I don't know if I was born that way I think it's just something that's grown and developed as I've stepped out and said okay well I'll I'll do this so I'm just really happy that I can do that it's just something that I can do and I'm useful and it's fun 
and that's it for today i'm going to catch you tomorrow with day 23 of 30 days of gratitude tell me in the comments below what makes you feel grateful and thankful and blessed today and be sure to give a thumbs up and come back and visit and subscribe and be my friend and we'll be like family and everything and i'll see you soon okay bye